I've been responsible for the development of the micro, small and medium enterprises uh, financing model. It is a process that started off with uh, requesting technical assistance from uh, UNECA and once granted a consultant was then commissioned to carry out uh, the work and working with the, the unit. Uh, it has been a process which involved uh, con stakeholder consultation and also as they move into validation of uh, the document and uh, here today we are on the closeout meeting uh, which basically will then uh, chart a, a way forward in terms of uh, what will then follow next. Uh, but uh, we see that there are quite a number of challenges that we need to address which were raised uh, uh, in the report and uh, we acknowledge that, that our stakeholders, as we work together, we should be in a position to close those gaps. Uh, one of those is that uh, we really need to ensure that there are trainings, uh, the adequate trainings for, for entrepreneurs when they access funding because without that training they cannot continue to run their businesses effectively. Uh, so that is one of um, the area that we need to improve on and we've seen that uh, also issues of a business plan which do not match uh, the requirements of, by financial institutions and also that one we really need to address. So I think uh, as a way forward, if all of those issues are addressed, we should be able to have a, a framework that uh, will contribute positively to, to the development and promotion of uh, our micro, small and medium enterprises. Yes, indeed, we acknowledge that uh, even on the side of uh, our entrepreneurs, there are issues that they need to address as well, such issues as um, managing their businesses properly and also their finances and owning up to their financial obligations in terms of uh, repaying their business loans uh, once they are granted those. So, so those are all the challenges that uh, we really need to overcome as we work on the implementation of this framework.